Okay, let's have a bit of a look at things now. As you can see, there's uh, quite a few components. Very nicely laid out. Everything's uh, got nice labels on it. So hopefully it uh, won't be too hard to put together. And uh, I'll find out once I get started on it. One thing I did notice when I took out the filament, it's, uh, it's multicoloured. I don't know if you can see it, I'll put it here. See, it's multicoloured. It's rather nice. I haven't used a multicoloured uh, filament before, and there's another one. So that should be, um, yeah, it should give some nice results. Anyway, um, I shall start assembling all these bits and pieces. Okay, like a typical male, I know everything, don't need instructions. This goes with that. Uh, okay, maybe that goes with this. Uh, that goes with... Okay, I give up. I, I think I do need instructions. So, better open them up and have a look. I've got uh, no idea. I know where things in theory go, but uh, in practice, uh, it's a different story. What's that? That's an after-sales card. And, uh, oh, what's that? That's a thingy. Thank you for your order. Oh, look at that. Thanks for your order. Isn't that nice? And a uh, bit of info on the back there. Oh, it tells you what's in the box. That's handy. I'll have a check of that shortly. And uh, the all-important instructions. And I love the fact they're in big, but good-sized uh, lettering. I like that. It makes it easy to read. I don't need my glasses. Wonderful. Okay, uh, I shall get started. Now, the pass list is actually quite good. They've got a little box on the side here, so you can actually tick to make certain all the components are there. So, obviously, I'm going to go through it and uh, tick them off, and hopefully everything will be there. Yeah, the first part we've got to do is obviously assemble start of the old part of the frame. Now, the little L brackets that they're referring to are in... Uh, bag B63, so we get rid of that. What I like about it is the fact that you cannot make a mistake. I mean, if you try to slide it in the wrong way, it won't go. You have to turn that round. It can only go in one way, so that's handy. So there's no way you can actually uh, put these in the wrong way, which is very, very nice. It's uh, a good idea to actually insert the grub screws first. I've only put one in in this one. I'll put the other one in in a second so that when you actually slide it into the extrusion and you get the other piece here and you sort of again slide that extrusion on you can actually get to your grub screws and tighten them up um, makes it a bit easier for you otherwise you'll be sort of struggling trying to put the grub screws in after you've uh, tightened up this section we've got the uh, first piece in now make certain as it says in the instructions it is 190 from there to there on both sides because this is uh, obviously a key component of your printer and you want to get it spot on also make certain you tighten up so there's no gap in between the uh, two extrusion pieces and uh, yeah I'll do the other side now and uh, away we go yeah we've got uh, this piece put together now we're on to the next bit, which is this one here. We're up to this stage at the moment. Um, I haven't tightened these uh, brackets up just yet. They're, they're firm but not tight, so I can actually make uh, adjustments a little bit later on. Okay, that's the uh, first bit that I'll be assembling, uh, which is the acrylic L corner piece. Now, I've marked it in the manual with a little marker here. And the reason for that is when you go to your little chart here of marking bits and pieces off, you will notice it's actually called acrylic for L aluminium connector. So it's um, the labelling is, is a little bit uh, confusing if you've never done one of these before. So that's just something to look out for. So that little piece there is what they're referring to. One thing I've noticed is with the uh, instructions for the acrylic L corner piece, they're not showing any washers um, actually here, yet they supply them in the, the A7 pack. And I have actually put them in, as you can see there, the actual washers are in place. 
So that's just something to bear in mind um, when you're putting together for the first time that they actually supply components that uh, aren't listed. I'm not complaining. I'm quite happy to have washers. I would have put them in there anyway. Yeah, the first part we've got to do is obviously assemble start of the old part of the frame. Now, the little L brackets that they're referring to are in uh, bag B63, so we get rid of that. What I like about it is the fact that you cannot make a mistake. I mean, if you try to slide it in the wrong way, it won't go. You have to turn that round. It can only go in one way, so it's uh, a good idea to actually insert the grub screws first I've only put one in in this one I'll put the other one in in a second so that when you actually slide it into the extrusion and you get the other piece here and you sort of again slide that extrusion on you can actually get your grub screws and tighten them up um, makes it a bit easier for you otherwise you'll be sort of struggling trying to put the grub screws in after you've um, tightened up this section okay, we've got the uh, first piece in now make certain, as it says in the instructions, it is 190 from there to there on both sides. Because this is uh, obviously a key component of your printer and you want to get it spot on. Also make certain you tighten up so there's no gap in between the uh, two extrusion pieces. And uh, yeah, I'll do the other side now and uh, away we go. We've got uh, this piece put together. Now we're on to the next bit, which is this one here. Okay, we're up to this stage at the moment. Um, I haven't tightened these uh, brackets up just yet. They're, they're firm but not tight, so I can actually make uh, adjustments a little bit later on. We have now finished the, uh, the carriage area. On to the next bit, which is this one. We've got the uh, x-axis carriage assembly put together now. All working nicely so far and uh, the warning is do not over tighten the nuts otherwise uh, you'll have possible cracking of the acrylic now we're on to the next bit which is whatever this is install a motor and idler okay that sounds exciting let's get into it it's still got to be done 